Hi, welcome to the Problem Solving Show, That's Life. Hope you had a fantastic Easter, I did. Join me on the panel this week is uh, Daryl, Reese, Casey, and Lindsay, of course, from the Auckland Stars. Fantastic. Our first letter comes from Tori, who lives in Tauranga. He writes, Auckland Stars, you've got Canterbury this weekend as a game. How's the preparation gone? And I think that's probably a question for Lindsay. Um, preparation's gone well. We've had uh, two pre-season tournaments. We've worked, um, we've improved over all of them, so hopefully we'll get the win on Saturday. Dear That's Life team, how do I make a souffle light and fluffy? I mean, age-old problem, isn't it, really? That's a good question. Um, Casey. Well, I'd have to say that the key is in the beating of the eggs. You have to be sure not to put in too much milk. And before you put it in your oven, make sure to preheat. And if you can, always try to get a nice gamey cheese on top. That's a fucking good question. It's a fucking good answer, too. Dear That's Life, is the cheetah really the fastest land mammal? I mean, this is one we often get, and um, it is they can run it in excess of 100 kilometers an hour, the cheetah, as we know, but funny enough, I still managed to run one over when I was on, on holiday in um, Zaire a couple of years back um, in, my la- in my land cruiser. But uh, admittedly, the cheetah was breastfeeding its cubs at the time, so I mean, uh, but yes, it is. It's the fastest land mammal, and um, that's life. Mm-hmm. This question comes from Auckland. I've always wanted to know how the basketball competition works. How many teams are there, etc. That comes from Tab. Nine teams. Basically a round robin, try and tally up points, play all the teams twice, and then it goes to final four from there. Mm -hmm. Here's a great little letter from Danny from Danny Vergen. He writes, Dear panel, I recently had costly testicle implants. I'm happy with the look but I often experience a numbing pain when I ride my mountain bike or when I'm in certain sexual positions. Are there remedies to prevent this? Well, I don't know, but I mean, my grandmother used to use beeswax to cure most ailments like that and uh, might not be the best sort of thing in, in this instance, but um, you can get plenty of books on it. I actually wrote a book in the 80s called um, Love Making for Three or More People with Bizarre Body Types and Acute Emotional Disorders. Other than that, you could probably try, um, Daryl? Beeswax. I'd say beeswax is not a bad option. Or the book. That's life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wendy from Dargaville writes, I just love the show. I've seen every one. But can we see some basketball action? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We did. Mm-hmm, 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 Dear panel, mm-hmm. I've been considering getting costly breast surgery. I'm concerned, however, about the dangers with silicon, etc. Mm. Mm-hmm. Should I pursue my wish and take the chance, or do you think two breasts are enough? Mm. Good question. Daryl? Well, uh, personally myself, I probably think two breasts on a mammal are, are more than enough. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You never know. You just, you just don't know where it's going to end. It's like a tattoo. You go in there just going for the one. Next thing you know, you're covered in the things. That's life. <laughs>